Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome back to Dead Cells. You'll notice a couple of things have gone kind of strange and different since our last run. And that can all be explained with this. There it is, we had a full three minutes, I was doing this for nothing. Okay, can I... I could have... Okay, so triple jump would not have done it. Here it is, look. Access to the clock tower is forbidden. Exactly. Exactly. So, basically, yeah, there's going to be a clock tower level. That is what I... That is what I stressed myself out to show you. So yeah, effectively, the news is that while I was researching into the whole situation. Let's let's forget about that and just speed on over to the time door. Which is usually not after the first... It's not after the first drop. In fact, it's right there. There we are. We're a full minute ahead of schedule. But yeah, if... If you can get to the end of Fog Fjord in like less than 10 minutes or something to that general effect, then... You... Uh... Yeah, you can get that little preview of the clock tower level. Now, I don't know, I, I, I can't imagine, unless like the clock tower is gonna be like some super mega, like ultimate rare, like really special level that you can only get to if you're like absolutely perfect and get like an amazing run. Because right now, at least, for, good job Gaslight, uh, for someone of my skill level, the only way to get to, get to that door in time is to go through the ossuary. And as the ossuary is, well, one, in a future update, it's not even going to be available in the first level. Hmm. To get rid of the sadistic dagger for the impaler? I guess I'll drop my shield. I mean, that's not exactly the smartest play, but it's not the stupidest play either. It's a better weapon, but again, I mean, the promenade... This is, you know, Noob Town, USA. So, I'm not gonna get the best, the best items and equipment here. Good job, Gaslight. All right, whoa, all right. Now, I mean, there is no need to fight every single enemy here, so I guess I won't. And I am gonna search very, very long and hard in the hopes. I'm actually not sure if I'm even gonna bother doing challenge rooms. At least not, good job again, Gaslight. Very, very professionally done. At least not until I get that new controller I've been talking about for a while, which is probably not gonna happen for a while. But yeah, that's what we're saving ourselves for, really. Ah, Rapier, I remember the days when you were basically, an, if you showed up, you were an instant win, uh, I guess button, really. All I needed to do was roll and stab. Not so anymore. What man would want the rapier now? Actually, it's not a terrible weapon. But without its, like, um, ridiculously overpowered uh, stabbing capabilities, it's not quite as attractive as it once was. Primarily, of course, because, you know, it has a very limited range of, well, range, for one, and also a very limited, uh, angle of attack. Of course, the Impaler has a very limited angle of attack as well, but it does make up for that with superior range. Are you, are you stalking me? Apparently it's stalking me. Also, I should probably speed up just a little bit. I don't, I don't think there's a time door in the... Hello. Oh dear. Okay, get out of my way. Ah, heck. No, no, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Come on, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Yeah, I, I need just a moment. Just a moment to myself, if you don't mind. Oh, for the love of... Okay, now you're dead. Alright, good enough. Good enough. I mean, I didn't have to fight him, I suppose. In fact, that may have been a, a waste of my time. We will see. 
Wait, wait, this is my chance to kill an enemy with the elevator. Oh god. I did it! I did it! I almost killed myself with the elevator as well, which would have been hilarious. I mean, it would have been also immensely frustrating, but it would have... Like, don't tell me you wouldn't have laughed if I killed myself with that. In fact, I bet at least... At least 20% of you were just thinking, Gaslight's gonna die right here, isn't he? He's gonna roll under it and completely miss that headless guy. I, and you know why I think that many of you were thinking that? Because that's what I was thinking. But I did it anyway. Because that's what entertainment is all about, dang gummit. Or something like that. Something like that, anyway. Alright, so we're in the prison depths, which is... No, happiest place on Earth. Yeah, get out of my way. There we go. Really don't need the strength upgrade. But... I suppose I should be grateful for it. No, no, no. Don't do that. All right, and again... Oh, God. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Well. That actually worked out. Okay. Though, I can also tell right now we are... Comparatively, compared to some runs, we are in this particular run... Roll out of the way. There we go. Don't trigger... Don't trigger the stabby guy there. There's a lot of bomb bats in this level. And... I'm also feeling very weak. This is not... This is not the best run we've ever had. Oh no, not you. No. You released too many... Too many... Damned... Damned bats. Oh, God. Sweet baby Jesus. Oh, no. No, you would. You would. You would. You would. You are the worst kind of person, game. Roll out of the way. Get, get me out of here. Get me out. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. Good job, Gaslight. You survived. I hate all of you. <laughs> God damn bats. Okay, but we're alive, and that's all that matters. I will accept your offering. I will accept your apology, game. Thank you. Okay. Okay. God damn. God damn bats. Okay, let's get the hell out of here before... Before that jerk bag comes back. Oh, but every time I kill someone, I freeze everyone in the immediate vicinity. Roll out of the way. Roll. Roll. Oh. Hello. Armadillo man is... Alright, so far so good. You know what? Don't even... Don't even think about it. Ah, oh, you activated anyway. You dick! Eat the kebab. The tasty, tasty kebab. Alright. Hello, friend. Beautiful. Alright, now... Now we're getting somewhere. Ow. Aw, oh, hell no. Not you again. Roll out of the way. Jump up here. Stabity stab. Also, since we last played, the Watcher has been fixed. He is no longer... He, uh, he's apparently faster again. Since there was a glitch for a while, I guess, where basically... Basically all freezy attacks would stack repeatedly on top of each other. And, I mean, good for me. Not so good for the Watcher. Hello, hello, hello. Got ourselves some spiked boots. That's pretty cool. I like it. That's a cool item. Cool item for cool people. Alright, so we're doing enough damage we can actually stun Skeletor over there. You just know there's going to be like a thousand bomb bats and one of those jerk clock spiders just waiting for us over here, isn't there? No? Hello? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. 
Ah, no, no. I mean, that was kind of, kind of unnecessary. Wait a minute. Let's see here. Need to be close. Oh, you don't actually give me the whole, like, damage bonus for being close to you anymore. I could fight those gut. Do I want to spend 10? You know what? What the heck? I don't think I'm going to die. Then again, no one ever thinks they're going to die. And then they end up dying. And, and they're sad. And life is not good. Oh, there's actually a store up there. Or back here. So, let's go to that. I'll be honest. I actually wish... I wish those uh, clockwork bat or clockwork spiders would go back to having their old, their old ability of uh, just having a shockwave. That was much easier to manage. But you know, if wishes were fishes, there would be no hunger in the world. So, or whatever the old saying goes. So, there is that to consider. We're also totally not getting, totally not getting uh, the. Uh, Time door on... Oh, it's you. Not you again. I, I think my problem is they really... He releases way too many bats. Oh, God. Like, what is this? What is this? Like, 10,000... No, 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 no. Roll, roll, stab, stab, roll, roll, stab, roll, stab, roll, stab, 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 roll. Calm down. Okay. All right. Okay. Somehow you did not die, Gaslight. Clearly, the god of random numbers is looking out for you. Don't squander that gift. Whoa! Ah! Wait. As? Have you been slowed down since we last played? Remember how I was whining and complaining at extremely great length about how he seemed to be... Attacking, like he seemed to be way too fast for his own good. And, oh, not you again. Oh dear. Okay. Aha! Sucker! Okay, he is dead. You are also dead. And I am not. I missed any side paths. I have not. Alright, good. Ah! Every time I hear you jumping out there in the mist, I get scared. It's not that bad. Okay, here comes a bomb bat. Let's uh, let's warp away just so that we're there. We go. Aha! Let's see here. That's less damage. Also, the shield is probably good. It gives us, I think, I think it still gives us like at least half a second. Good job on missing, by the way, Gaslight. But you did set him on fire. Oh boy. Yeah. Maybe if there's just a bit more of a limit on how many of these annoying bats he could release, maybe I wouldn't be quite so upset with him. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Aha, I'm better than you. I should probably trigger that brain bat or a bomb bat, whatever it is. Oh, I can't actually quite reach him from there. Hello, Mr. Bombat. I mean, Bombats are not the worst kind of creature in the world. They're pretty bad if you're climbing an elevator and and they happen to show up. But other than that, it's all good. Uh, I've squandered my wealth. I've squandered my wealth so tor horribly, terribly. However, if we win, if we win, then we should be okay. And I'm actually really appreciating how much harder the early game probably is, like before you unlock all the super cool moves. And I mean, I guess since since part of uh, part of the point of this run is so that even if we lose, we uh, kind of still make back some of our lost wealth. That uh, yeah, you want to do stuff like that just to make a bit of money back. So, that we are not completely behind in the future. So I'm pretty sure each run, we make a, at least enough money to be able to buy every single stat upgrade from the shop. And there's definitely a lot more pressure there now, isn't there? Like especially to fight, um, to fight the incomplete one. Do I want to unlock that? 
Or do I want to focus on all of these items, which are actually almost at maximum upgrade? We'll, uh, we'll buy you all the way down to one. You know, and again, if we ever find ourselves in a run where we have an item that we don't really like, then we can go ahead and unlock it. And life will be good again. I also wonder to myself if eventually there's going to be a time door in every level. And also if eventually the time doors are going to be reworked a little bit so that the time is relative to, like, how far you've progressed, you know? Like, uh, like, the current situation with the ossuary. Like, I mean, I, I know the current situation with the ossuary is, like, a bit temporary because the intention... The intention is that it's not always going to not always going to be accessible from where it is right now. So the time door will presumably... Presumably... Oh dear. Please, don't do that. Also, is it just me? It might just be me, but I feel like the incomplete one is smaller than he used to be. Is he, is he only half the man he used to be? I don't know. Okay, and then roll really fast out of there. But I mean, he's like definitely changed a little bit since we last saw him. And that's not bad. And also, I mean, this is probably like the prime reason for fighting the incomplete one. You get a bunch of money back. That's always good. All right. So that, I presume, leads down to the time. Oh, this leads to the time door. What is behind this time door? Time, time, time door, time door. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I mean, for the most part, the time doors are still not like critical. Like, I don't feel like I'm missing too much because I only give eight cells and some money, which, granted, the money is good. But. Is the money worth... I mean, I'm, I'm trying to think to myself, like, what the intentional balancing is right now. Like, what the ideal is for things. Like, should I... Like, should I expect to be able to afford... To buy, like, every run? Should I expect that it's possible... I'm actually really annoyed that <laughs> I didn't do the downward strike there, but oh well. Such is life. You'll also notice, I mean, it, it looks new to me, I might be wrong, but it looks like there's like little shortcuts and stuff in, uh, in, um, this level now. That's what I'm trying to say. Alright, yeah, I'll buy more strength. I mean, four health is pretty good. Actually, that does, how much damage do I do? 2,400 with what we've got right now, so that's... It's actually pretty good, pretty acceptable, very nice. Yeah, we can do this now. Like I don't, I mean, unless those have always existed in this in this level, and I just literally did not notice them until just now. Also, we've had really bad luck with getting. Oh my god! Oh no! I don't. Well, I don't actually want to buy a skill up anyway, so. There is that, but still, I mean, it's almost insulting that I can't afford it. Like, we used to be kings, man. Oh dear. Didn't mean to ro roll through that hole. I guess I did, so, you know, we have to deal with it now. Good job. Yeah, you know what, we're gonna fight everything. Man, money is so much tighter than it once was. And, to a certain extent, that's actually kind of sad. But, you know, that's life. I mean... I mean, I suppose... With that in mind, I guess... I guess you're not expected to be able to afford to buy every single stat upgrade. Which I guess makes sense, so you have to kind of... Like, make sure you buy them early in the game, I suppose. Buy them early, so when they're cheap, and also because that get, lets you uh, kind of snowball a little bit. Hmm, I like, I like the ceiling turret, but it it becomes basically worthless against the watcher because the ceiling is too high. 
and that's that's just bad. There we go. There we go. All right, so we are very strong. Yeah, that would be useful. Well, I've got to save my pennies. Save all the pennies. I don't have enough pennies. Dang it. I mean... Oh, boy. And it's an early access game, so you got to expect these kinds of uh, changes in balance. Also, I can't help but notice that we're only 20 minutes in. Or 17-ish minutes in. All right, this leads up to the top. So there's that. There we go. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. I mean, again, I am quite dedicated to killing every single enemy. Hello, Bombat. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. I mean, I'm gonna go all the way to the end just to, again, show... Show the entrance to the clock tower. Which I assume is always gonna be here. It's always gonna be, like, at the end of the Fog Fjord. It just might not, uh... Of course, then again, maybe, um... I mean, it's all... It's all, you know, work in progress right now. Maybe, uh... Maybe it will be possible that uh, the clock tower will end up replacing the ossuary as like the third alternate door. Would be. You know, like instead of uh, going to the ossuary from the prisoner cells, you'll be able to go to the other place. Also, it's nice that you can, there are now like little shortcut things you can activate here in in Fog Fjord in order to get more access or to be able to, like, if you fall off the roof, to be able to climb back up in a timely fashion. That is always... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Almost... I was facing the wrong way for just long enough to be scared for my life there. All right. Roll past. Smash down. Stab the the goblins. Collect our money. Alright, I mean we're Ow. You're too fast, you you dang old goblin-y things. Also, why do I not use these? Ah, there we go. The advanced turret gives me a damage boost. Which is good. Just chuck that off in the corner somewhere and. Of course, I do... Kind of, yeah. I'm gonna do that so that we at least have the ability to rapidly get back up here in case we fall down. Because I know myself. And I know... That given half a chance, I will fall off this roof. There we go. Okay. Alright. Good enough. And roll the way, stabity stabity, roll to that, stabity stabity, etc. etc. Alright, so I mean eight strength, that's pretty good. Eight strength, four health. Probably want a little bit more health if I can. Let's see here. Releases a toxic cloud. Alright, that's that's okay. I think I have to block them at least once before they'll do that, but then again, if it just if it's just infinite fart clouds now, then I guess we're good. Which is good. Works for me. Yes. Yes it does. Yeah, might as well unlock all the shortcuts. Just because I know myself, and I know that I will inevitably fall down to my death. Or, you know, fall and then take, like, 10,000 years to get back up here. If I don't, so... There we go. Beautifully done. Excellent. That probably leads down to the graveyard. If I were to guess. Of course, it could be here. There we go. 
Good job, Gaslight. You took that blow to the face like a champ. Eh, it's worth it. I don't think I'd spend money for a skill upgrade. I mean, I say that, but several of the skills are actually very useful, like grenades, fire bombs, ice bombs. Those things are definitely valuable. All right, wait for Chuckles. Actually, the axe thrower is probably more like Chuckles' younger brother. He's not quite as big, not quite as cool. And, you know, he's only got one trick up his sleeve, which is throwing axes, where, compared to Chuckles himself, who can actually do two things. He can throw his grappling hook at you, or he could alternatively decide to kick you. And in fact, he tries to combine both those moves whenever he can. Grapple you in, kick you in the face, make you cry. Exactly. Alright. I forgot last time, I think, as well, to actually do something with that. Yeah, I can... Basically, one-shot. One-shot the little zombies, so I'm probably okay. Would still like a throwing knife, though. There we go. Alright. Of course, then again, that right there reminds me why I don't like fighting those zombies. Because they, unless you have, unless you do have a throwing knife, they're kind of, kind of tedious to deal with. Just a little bit. Ah, there's Chuckles now. There's Chuckles again. Isn't Chuckles a great guy? He's always there for you. He's there when you need him, he's there when you don't. It all... Hello, Inquisitor. Formerly known as Magic Mike. Who I will probably... Probably call Magic Mike again at some point in the future. Yeah, th you see, this is why I really wish I still had... Or, not, not even, not even still had, but had in the first place, had ever had... Throwing Dagger. Oh, come on. I don't like what you represent. Come on. There we go. All right. I mean, we're doing reasonable damage. We had a delicious kebab. Oh, dear. No, 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 no. Not today. Oh, dear. All right, some more tasty chicken. There we go, that worked out. Roll it away, stab him in the face. All right. I mean, we don't have a perfect run going here, but we do have a run. And I want the twin daggers. I mean, they do reasonable damage. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip that. Twin daggers used to be my go-to weapon, but I've kind of grown past them, really. Now, now I see them as a fun weapon, but uh, they're not, I guess because since the Watcher actually came into existence, I kinda, kinda stopped valuing them quite as much. Oop. I mean, again, like they're, they're still not bad, but they are not what I immediately think of as a weapon these days. For the most part. I mean, yeah, I'll pick up a free skill upgrade. That's always good. Hmm. So what do you think the clock tower is going to be like as a level? Probably pretty cool, if I were to guess. Oh, do I... do I... 8,000 dead. No, I know myself too well. I'm gonna screw that up somehow. But then again, that's almost... Actually, that's more than double the damage we're doing right now, and we're still practically one-shotting things. You know what? We have never, never beat 
the Watcher, using the Cursed Sword. I think we owe it to ourselves to do that at least once, right? So... Alright, everyone, everyone start uh, whispering in creepy little child voices to remind me not to... No, like creepy horror child voices to not forget to go back for the Cursed Sword. Somehow, somehow that'll ripple through time and make me remember to come back for it. Probably. Alright, that worked out nicely. Oh, you know what? And that combined... Combined with the damage boost from uh, the advanced turret... You know what? I bet I could do this. I could make this work. We can do a Cursed Sword run. Probably. Maybe. I bet I could do it. It's all about having confidence in yourself. Oh dear. Alright. Yeah. Confidence. I can do that. I mean, I can have confidence. Probably. Maybe. Possibly. Alright. Just remember to go back for it. Uh, no, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna grab that. Not today. Alright, so there is something there. Alright. That worked out. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. You know, I don't really want to kill that guy. You're gonna die anyway, so I guess I might as well deal with you and all your grave bats. Gotta be honest. Those clockwork spiders have made me hate grave bats. With a burning passion of a fiery of a thousand fiery suns? Oh, you are kidding me. And yet I was unharmed. And that is why you worship R and Jesus. Also, I would just like to point out we are up to thirty some thousand ducats here, so. A winning run is enough to ensure that you will be taken care of forever and always. Oh dear. That actually worked out better than I hoped. As did that. Oh dear. That, less so. But still, I mean, we're doing okay here. That tonic would be absolutely useless to me if we pick up the Cursed Sword, so obviously I'm not going to pick it up. There's something over here in the corner. Nope, there was nothing in the corner. I just... just imagined it. Alright, so remember, before I go down to the Insufferable Crypt, grab the Cursed Sword. That way, at the very least, even if I die, I can say I tried something difficult. Plus, I mean, if we succeed, then we'll get that shiny achievement for beating the Watcher without taking damage. And, you know, achievements are good, I guess. They make you feel good about yourself. And that's always a good thing. I would assume. I mean, feeling good is always good, usually. There's another Archbishop down here somewhere, isn't there? Aha! There you go. Oh, hello! All right. Nicely done. Okay. Oh dear. Okay. So, you know, this is actually... Possibly... Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 sir. All right. Do not want. Where are you? There we go. Okay, good, 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 good. Calm down. I'd calm down more if I had an item that I knew for a certain would freeze or otherwise slow down. Of course, then I could have done a shield. Good, good job, Gaslight. All 
All right. I mean, that'll sort of do the job. There we go. Ah I don't think there's anyone else down here, so I've got nothing to worry about. Okay. Yeah. Those magic mics, though, they do a lot of damage, don't they? A lot of damage. They are not friendly people. No, sir. All right. Never treasure chest. Please be a frost grenade. You are not a frost grenade. You are, however, an electric whip. Which would also tie in very well. I mean, my biggest fear is the tentacles, because the tentacles in the later phases of the fight, you know, they get fast, and I don't really have anything to uh, counter that. Though, the lightning whip at least means I'll be able to kind of get in a couple of quick, quick jabs here and there. Alright. If I pick up the cursed sword, I've got to focus very heavily on playing defense. Because even one tentacle will kill me. And I can already feel... That one tentacle. Oh god. Roll out of there! Alright. Alright. Yeah, kill. Kill them. Roll them out of the way. And there we go. There's the Archbishop. Come on. Oh, there's actually no one else here to be afraid of. All right, again, another case where the enemy would have died anyway. And I would rather release all those grave bats on my terms when I am ready for them. All right. We're really taking our time with this, aren't we? Okay. I'm fully expecting. Like, I, I am committing myself fully to the task of picking up... Of picking up the, uh... The thing, the item, the item of items, the cursed sword. Even though I am quite confident it's going to result in our death, because we're not really we're not really equipped for it, are we? All right. Actually, what would be really embarrassing would be if I didn't even make it to the crypt if I accidentally tripped on spikes, like I did right there. Let me go for the, the Cursed Sword. Yeah, there it is. Alright. No, there's no spikes. So we're, we're pretty safe. We're, we're okay. We can do this. Alright. Just don't fall on any spikes. Just don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Alright. We can do this. It's just going to require a level of precision and refinement that I have up till now shown I am completely incapable of. Alright. Actually, that's not true. We once made it all the way to Fog Fjord using the Cursed Sword, so I mean, how hard could it be fighting the Watcher? It's all about not building it up in your head. That's the ticket. I mean, like, as you can probably tell from the way I've been talking, I've obviously built the Watcher up in my head as being some kind of, you know, boogeyman, some kind of impossible thing to uh, fight without taking one damage. And... I mean, I, I can't ever let him get an attack off. Alright, alright, I can do this. I can do this. Just stay down here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, no, no, he's gonna... He's gonna do something. No! No, yes! Wait! Aha! Okay, okay, okay. I am very scared now. Okay, are you actually going to attack, or are you just going to jerk me around a little bit? Alright, alright, okay, okay. Alright, it happened, it happened, okay. Whoa! Okay, okay, we can do it. Yes, 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 okay, okay. A tentacle! There's the tentacle. There's the tentacle. Whoa. Okay, okay, calm down. Calm down. No! 
Ah! Well. I told you. Oh boy. Anyway. Well, we still have a bit of money, so that's okay. One day we will we'll do that. It'll work. It'll happen. But not today, so unfortunately, that's going to do it for this episode. So until the next time, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below to let me know what you're thinking. And I will see all you in the next video.